All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing a seven round Kansas City Chiefs mock draft today. You can find um, the first round pick and how I came up with all this right here. I did a first round mock draft and essentially this mock is going to be starting from that point and continuing onward. I thought it was a fun little exercise. Um, we are finally getting through all the teams. We've only got this, the Texans, the Rams, and the Seahawks after this to do because those guys don't have first rounds and I want to at least give them the benefit of a mock draft because I'm sure they don't get very many. Um, and then I don't know what we're doing. So if you have any thoughts on that, leave a comment. Otherwise, I would love it if you'd like this video. Uh, let me know any critiques you have in the comments section. But uh, let's get started. With the 32nd pick in the first round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Trey Smith, offensive guard, Tennessee. So as I said in that first round mock, um, look, we, we, we've got a lot of guys that are, are leaving. Uh, it has to be addressed. It doesn't have to be first round necessarily, but also we're probably going to take multiple swings at this and we don't have a lot of picks. So I'm looking at the board and the value says that this is one of the best guys available. And since it is a need, it kind of becomes a no brainer at that point. Trey Smith to the Chiefs at 32. With the 64th overall pick in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Pete Werner, linebacker, Ohio State. Um, I, you know, we got Willie Gay, and um, I, there's there's a decent chance that he takes a step in year two. I don't think he's uh, anything super special right now, but even even outside of that, even if he does take a step, our linebackers outside of that, I'm just I'm not super excited about. Maybe you like Dorian O'Daniel, and are still waiting for him to kind of really blow up. I'm not, I'm not sure what we're waiting for at linebacker, to be completely honest, but um, I just don't think it's good enough. Um, I do think the offense and defense are both playing good football, but uh, of course everything can be improved, and that doesn't even include the guys that are pr probably going to be leaving in the near future, Neiman and Wilson. I don't know if we resign these guys, but either way, I do think we need to get better, and we also need more depth. So I'm going to take one swing at uh, linebacker and take Pete Werner out of Ohio State. With the 96th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Nico Collins, wide receiver, Michigan. We obviously need to get some more wide receivers. Um, we've got several people probably leaving. And, and then with the Chiefs, not that it has to be this way, but I, I generally look at the fact that you got Miko Hardman and Tyreek Hill that are sort of the smaller, speedier guys. I'd like to go out and find sort of that big-bodied um, wide receiver that, that can add that dynamic, similar to what Sammy Watkins had before we probably got rid of him, and that's going to be Nico Collins. The other thing that's exciting about him, although maybe not quite as much, is he didn't play in 2020, which is a big part of the reason why he's probably going to fall, but he is a high upside guy, talented uh, wide receiver. He played very well in 2018 and 2019, um, and again, six foot four, 218 pounds. He's a big, big dude, so... Um, you're going to have Nico Collins that can kind of threaten, um, you know, just kind of push people around. Well, obviously, we got the, the speedier guys on the other side that the defense is really worried about. So, Nico Collins to the Chiefs at pick 96. With the 128th pick in the fourth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Jordan Smith, edge rusher, UAB. Um, you know, outside of Frank Clark, and I'll, I'll be honest, I'm Maybe not quite as high on Frank Clark as most, but regardless, we got Frank Clark. He's our top guy. We got Chris Jones on the inside. Um, I still think we need more help, right? Frank Clark is, is fine, but let's get a compliment to the other side. And you want to talk about a big dude, six foot seven, 255 pounds. You know, obviously out of uh, UAB, the competition isn't super great, but we're talking about a guy with 52 pressures on 304 attempts. Um, that's massive. Eight sacks. Um, very, very good against the run, as you would expect at 6'7", 255. Very dominant across the board. Run defense, tackling, pass rush. Not going to drop in coverage for you, but but so what? Um, and he's been doing it for two years now. I mean, he's two years in college. He's been dominant for two years. It's not like a one-year blip. 28, 2019, he was arguably better than he was uh, this year. Um, so just, again, later round guy, but big, disruptive, physical player that we're going to be able to add as a compliment. Again... This isn't the, the offense's main priority. Everybody else is looking at Frank Clark and Chris Jones, and we got you know Derek Nadi, who's really taken a giant step this year. Um, so he's going to be like the fourth biggest concern, and again, very disruptive football player. 
With the 160th pick in the fifth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Ben Cleveland, offensive guard, Georgia. Again, I, I, as I said, we got to take multiple swings. But my main objective here is I want to let as many of these guys go as possible. I don't want to have to, you know, with, with with the COVID stuff, nobody has any money anymore. The salary cap isn't going up, but the salaries are because we we made these contracts that say well, you make more money every year because we assume the salary cap goes every, every year. When everybody gets more expensive and we don't make more money, everybody loses money. So we're kind of in a pinch. We can't be re-signing every single person just for the sake of, well, we need bodies. Now, we're going to kind of let some guys go here. Um, ben Cleveland's going to come in six foot six, three thirty five, huge, big body Georgia uh, offensive guard. Um, largely played right guard over at Alabama, and that's that's fine with me. Wherever wherever we can put him is fine. So Ben Cleveland, 160th pick to the Chiefs. Finally, with the 224th pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Marlon Toipulotu, defensive tackle, USC. Another one that I know isn't probably going to be super popular, but uh, it really just comes down to, again, depth and and not as much talent, but um, again, outside of Chris Jones and uh, Derek Nottie, there, there isn't really much else. And why do you need much else? Because it's a rotational, heavy rotational position, and especially when you consider Nottie isn't an every down player. Chris Jones is basically the only one, and Mike Pennell is, is largely probably going to be leaving. We don't have anybody else. So, yeah, it's a seventh round. We're not going to get a ton of elite talent. One of the few positions where you can probably get a contributor, especially a rotational player, is a defensive tackle. So I'm just trying to get us somebody that we can get on the field. If you want me to go out and get a corner that's never going to play, I could do that, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to take Marlon Toipolo to defensive tackle out of USC. All right, folks, that's going to do it for your Super Bowl champion, Kansas City Chiefs seven round mock draft. Do me a big favor. Hit that like button. That would be greatly appreciated. I'm going to be doing a lot of mock drafts in the coming uh few weeks or whatever until the draft actually happens not even few several weeks so please jump in the comment section let me know any thoughts and opinions any prospects that you like anything anybody that you think is a good fit anything i missed in terms of guys staying leaving whatever any and all information would be greatly appreciated um otherwise that's all i got for you have a good day